Hello, my lovelies. It is lovely to have all of you here. And we have an incredible slate of fan artists for today's signing. I, I am just losing my mind over the quality of these things. So let, let me just say, of course, we have Claim the Skies, who has this incredible work with Silco. I love the fingers. There's something about Silco's hands that is just, you know, a huge part of the character. So I'm grateful to have that. Thank you, Claim the Skies. And we also have Eliza Boli, which is the Eye of Zon is the name of the piece. And I just love the detail. Look at the chair and Silco's chill attitude. I just love it so much. And then of course we have Suki Orio. I love this one of my personal favorite pieces. I just love black and white pieces. Like, you know, I love black and white ink tattoos. I love uh, black and white art in general, with the high contrast. And uh, I call this Silco falling downstairs. No, no, that's not what I call it. It's beautiful. And I'm honored to have it as part of the signing today. Mwah! And then also Shark Cat, A221. And this is beautiful. I love, this will be the only print that I have signed that actually has all of Jinx in it. I did sign one with Jinx's hair, uh, but this, this has all of Jinx in it and so it goes up there in the portrait. These prints from Streamly, so high quality, so beautiful, so good. Mwah! Welcome to all of you and let's get started. We'll get it done in an hour. I know you've got things to do on the weekend. I just wanted to spend a little time with you. So thanks for being here with me. All right, first up we have Lauren. You are my favorite voice actor and I think you are just a wonderful person. Thank you, Lauren. Thank you for sharing your gift with us and being so loving. Absolutely, I just, I feel a lot of love coming from people and I like to return it. Uh, could you please have Silco write something sweet? Absolutely, I trust your judgment. Oh, you trust my judgment, do you? That was your first mistake. <laughs> okay, let's see, Lauren. Lauren, my love burns brighter than the sun. Yours, Suka. All right, it's good. Not bad for the first one. Good. Not too shabby. Thanks, Laura. All right, we're gonna see. Streamly has a new interface, and so I'm trying to use it this time, getting a little used to it. I keep making changes, and then yeah, it goes pretty good. Turn that music down just one notch. Arilda. Yay, more fan art. Yes, yay. Uh, my collection is growing at an alarming rate. I hope you have a great day and remember to stay hydrated. Yes, yes. Hydration, very important. Um, may I please request, don't cry. You're perfect. Absolutely. All right. What number is that? Hold on one second. I'm just gonna go back over here. Okay, sweet. Okay. I'm just get used to this, the different flow of things here. Where is that one? 22. And may I also request a poem on the back if it's not too much trouble? Absolutely. You can. Okay, I've got this handled, but don't cry. You're perfect. And I pre wrote the poem, so in this case, I pre-write the phone so we don't have to stand here while I tick and scratch. That was bad enough. In the light of the sun, just as you are, you are enough. Without question, you are enough. In the light of the sun, just as you are. Thanks, Rilla. 
Got that one. Next up is Ridgely. No socials. If possible, I would love a random Soko message. <laughs> All right. How random. All right. Focus on your gadgetry. That's pretty random. With a heart. Thanks, Ridgely. All right. Two, less peoples, or let by peoples, like to, oh, Lacra Mozart on Twitter. Thanks for putting your social in there. Hello, I hope you're doing fine, and I hope you are fine as well. Could you please add a sentence Silco would tell Victor if he met him? Oh, yes, of course, and you wanted a superior. How about... You walk like a scientist. And there we go. Um, so good. I love this piece, it's so good. Thanks. Lippipus. All right. Hey, Jason, can you write Don't Cry, You're Perfect on the left? So it looks like Silco is saying it to Jinx as she runs past. Yes, okay, this is Unboxed by Light on the socials. I love that idea. I'm not gonna put a thought bubble. I think that would be weird, but uh, sure. See, it's like he's saying it to Jinx. Don't cry. You're perfect. And Jinx is on to her own life and the great things that Jinx will achieve. All right, next up, Riley. Be we on the social. Could you please write, I never would have given you to them. Not for anything. with a little heart and my name. Yes, of course. Sukiurio. Perfect. With a little silco at the bottom and a heart. All set. Thanks, Riley. Next up is My Maya. I think it's Maya or Maya. M-A-Y-A, -A, which is a beautiful name. So, I'm not saying I'd faint if you snuck a My Lovely into the autograph, but I'm also saying that I wouldn't faint either. Okay, My Lovely. Let's see. My Lovely, you're perfect. Yeah. It's right there. Proceed to faint. Make sure you have plenty of water and someone to catch you. Next. Nancy. Do you mind writing? Real power comes to those who will do anything to achieve it. Oh, absolutely. Hi, Nancy. Thanks for bringing such a beautifully nuanced performance to a wonderfully complex carrier character. You are welcome. Pleasure is mine. All right. I'll do anything to achieve it. Put my signature on the opposite side so it all fits. Looking good. I just love this piece. Thanks, Nancy. All right. To Nicole and Bob, AKA the Silver Wings. If it's all right, if it's not too much to ask, and you put something that helps me continue to pursue my voice acting dreams, since you were my one of ins my inspirations. That is very nice of you to say. Um, thank you. You know, I had inspirations when I was starting out voice acting and I had people that I looked up to and people who were in the business before me and 
I would watch their work and I'd be like blown away. I'd be like, there's no way. And I just kept at it and I kept working and, you know, I, I did work, whatever, whenever it would come. And I just stayed focused on what it is I wanted to do. And that's how I ended up in this position. So just keep going, keep climbing the ladder. All right, let's do this. I will write. Oh, yes, and of course I wrote it on the back because, and I'm going to leave that as a private message to you, I think. Well, I think it could be inspiring to other people. If you don't pursue your dreams, if we don't pursue our dreams, we are unfulfilled every day. There may be struggles, there may be disappointment, but at least you are living for something. And you can do it. I believe in you. All set. Thanks, Nicole and Bob. Never give up. Next up is Chris. Iridescence on the socials. Wants a Sukiurio. Sukiurio. I would love it if you could write something to match the tone of the print. Yes. Chris, there is a monster inside all of us. So cool. There is a monster inside all of us. Kind of matches the tone of this, right? Like, so close being such a monster. <laughs> Creepy stairs, stalker. Next up, Mew Cat, AKA Sashimi. Carolyn, could you please write, is there anything, oh, is there anything so, oh, I see you changed the word in undoing to endearing. That's nice. Is there anything so endearing as a daughter? I love it. To Carolyn, is there anything so Endearing as a daughter. I love it. You gotta figure out the angle of this camera. Looking good. Thanks, Carolyn. Nice change up there. And looks like Carolyn also bought a second one. Carolyn, you're amazing. Thank you for supporting these artists and me as well, very kind of you. Could you please write, you can be brave for a moment or hide for a lifetime. Actually, that's a me quote. I put that out on Twitter because it struck me one day uh, as a core truth about life, that you can be brave for a moment or hide for a lifetime. Thanks, Karen. Okay. Next up, signed to nobody with, if you could write, the attitude, the instinct, the eye. Of course. <laughs> I love it. The attitude, the instinct, the eye. The eye. <laughs> Great. Next up, make it out to no one. I would like you to write, we will show them. We will show them all. Absolutely. From Suka. I love that moment when Silco is surprised by powder and just takes powder in his arms and changes the whole trajectory of Silco's life forever. You know, I love it. All right, complete. Truck and ride along. 
to Safira. Can you please rise? And this is Blue Glassberry on the social. To Safira. Don't cry. You're perfect. Thanks, Safira. Okay. Next up is Perfectly Winged Crusade. Hello, Jason. Could you please write, Do not stand by my grave and weep. I am not there. I do not sleep. Do not stand by my grave and cry. I am not there. I did not die. Sorry for the long one. Thank you. Oh, yeah, well, I, I think I probably would have written that on the back. I'll just have to just check and make sure I'm pretty sure I'm here. Oh yes, I did for you. Because I didn't want to write all that on the front of this, you just get a really cool signature, but uh, you know that private message is there for you. Because if I wrote that on the front of this thing, I'm not sure you would have loved it. Executive decision. Silco made an executive decision. Do something to say. Next up, Victoria. If it is no trouble villainous art, could you write something Oh, flirty. I see. Thank you for everything, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Yes. How about... There is only one you. Oh, we'll, we'll, write, we'll put your name first, obviously. Victoria. There is only one you, my darling. From Soko. The heart. There you go. Totally safe for work. You're like, why? <laughs> Next up is Dog Antlers, aka Sam. No instructions, but you get a signature from Soko as well. Thanks, Sam. Okay. All right, Victoria. I think this is the same Victoria. What are you doing buying multiple prints? Could you please write something encouraging on the back and sign the front? Of course. Absolutely. And I won't read the rest of the message. Let's do it. You know, there, there are times in life when I question what it is that I'm going to be, you know, doing. What, what am I doing? Where am I headed, you know? And I, I, there, this is strange to admit, but even as a voice actor, you do need to have quite a bit of inspiration in order to tackle something and bring a level of creativity that's, that makes your performance unique. I mean, granted, the picture is there. A lot of times they ask for a specific type of voice. You know, this person needs to sound blue collar like Danny DeVito and, you know, they're trying to keep you in a, in a lane. But when you attack, and the words are there, but even when you attack something where the lane is narrow, you still want to bring something unique. And it, it can, you know, take a moment to be like, well, I've done this same type of thing so many times in 28 years, what am I going to, how am I going to do something new? And I, it's imagination really is the key, Victoria. Like, you know, your imagination is your best weapon, your biggest asset in the fight against mediocrity and a dull life. So, oh yeah, I, I did write a bunch of stuff on the back for you already. Uh, no one has exactly your point of view. No one tells exactly your stories. Your art is the single greatest gift that you can give to the rest of us. So don't do it to be original. You already are. Do it because without it, without that contribution, the species has something less. Thanks, Victoria. I think we all could benefit from that uh, point of view. 
Friendly Artist 10, a.k.a. Amanda, gets a claim the skies. Yes! Thank you so much for all that you do and inspiring so many in kind and strive for what they love. Of course. Why are we here if not to strive for that? I hope you're having a lovely day and continue to always have those days. I do my best. Could you please write, be your own star in this world. Be your own star in this world. Yes, I can. Thanks, Amanda. And thanks for the well wishes. Next up, Valerie Bebe on the socials. Your voice has helped me through tough times. Thank you for doing streams like this to connect with your community. Of course. Can you write something secret on my print with a little eye of Zon drawn so then I will not say out loud what it is? I can't finish that secret, but it's cool. I'll just leave it, leave it be. Okay, I know I want to show it fast. There. Thanks, Valerie. You're like I'm gonna show that to the whole internet. I didn't put anything on there that, and that riot will be upset about. All right, Lemona, Lemona, aka Monica. It was hard to choose one beloved quote, but if you can, please write. I never would have given you to them. Not for anything. Don't cry. You're perfect. And something just for me on the back. Of course. Let's do it. Not for anything. Alright. set. I like that there's things that we do on this stream that are like no one gets to see until the person gets their uh, print in the mail. This, the suspense is, is killing you, I'm sure. And then when people put it out on the internet, you know, if they feel comfortable and share it with the community, it's always special. I love it. All right. Capu Lobo, aka Brianna. Hi again, Jason. Hello again, Brianna. Can you write some words of encouragement from Silco? or praise for working hard, along with a little rat doodle. Of course. Let's see, first we start with the rat. Oh, he's kind of cute, actually. I like it. Brianna, your hard work will pay off. Never give up on your dreams. So good. Thanks, Brianna. All right, next up is Le Leanne. Oh. Of course. This was, uh, I'm not, I have to be careful what I say out loud. Some of these things are 
you know, presents or stuff. Okay, I'll say it. Your toes are lovely too. I'll make it all the way in Okay, next up is Holly Chapman. Halls Noel on the socials. Please write my favorite Soko quote. All right, well, I have a lot of them, actually, and it's hard because it de depends on the week which one is actually my favorite, Holly. So, you're my daughter. I will never forsake. That's what I'm feeling today. Thanks, Holly. Because I have two daughters. Uh, salty buns. Salty buns. Your print was one of the uh, also quite highly rated for the signing. I mean, I know we. We have to pick a certain number, but uh, yours were incredible as well uh, for fan art. Could you please write your or Silco's favorite words of wisdom? Um, you know, I really like that quote I came up with on Twitter, especially at times like these. You know, we have war and we have tyrants and we have people that need to be stood up to. Um, you can be brave for a moment or hide for a lifetime. Something like that. Thanks, Sadie. And thanks for all your contributions to the community. Nice. Next, Sarah. And I am Zong, please. Gladly. Please add. We will show them. We will show them all. In addition to signing it, of course I will. As Silco also. I signed all of these as Silco because I think, you know, Silco's got his own signature. It's just kind of cool to have that too, you know. Thanks, Sarah. Alright. Memory Phoenix 22 on the socials. Could you please write a surprising, inspiring quote on the back? Or surprise, inspiring quote on the back? Yes, well, in that case, I am going to not say it out loud, I think. Oh, yes, I already wrote it because I wrote you a lot of text. <laughs> All right. Cheers. Thanks, memory. All right. Now we are out of those VIPs. And we're into number A1. Oh, Natalie. Natalie. You probably get this a lot, but could you write, don't cry, you're perfect? Of course. And I don't mind it, I love that line. There's something about it. When I first read it, I cried. When I first read the script. And when I performed it, you know, it was hard not to cry. And it's just so meaningful to be told that no matter what, you are enough. Just as you are. Don't cry. You perfect. Thanks, Natalie. All right. Next up, Ivy with a heart. Hey, remember the bite hard person? <laughs> I really got that tattoo. You did? Nice. All right. Well, then, I'm going to sign this. Keep it simple. Thanks, Ivy. Next up is Kayla. 
Cyber Stripes wants a Sucurio. Could you please put a line you think is underrated? Underrated. Dude, all of Arcane is so highly rated. Ridiculous. Um, but... How about... This is sort of when we start to see how manipulative Silco can be with the whole... the rest of the nations, like, like Piltover. Because, you know, in Zaun, it's obvious that Silco can pull some strings. But this, at this moment, we realize that he's got his hand in larger places. I'm about to make your day. All right, thanks, Caleb. Next is Claudia. Silly Silco on the socials. Oh, that's nice of you. Oops. Silco's name on the socials. Just a signature. Thanks, Clyde. Alright. Next up, Marina. Hi, please write whatever you wish to. Whatever you wish to. Hope you are having a great day. Of course. Well, thank you for the well wishes. And I hope that you are having a spectacular day. And whatever happens, remember that you are cared about. Alright. How about this? Find your nation of Zorn and build it. I think that's something that I, I like to to inspire people. Sometimes when they ask me to do cameos for them, because I have a cameo account where you can, you know, purchase private messages, you know, from Silco and whatever character that I, you know, you want. And um, I'll do that. I'll tell people to find their own nation of song. You know, what it is inside them that they are compelled, like Silco is compelled, to, you know, stop at nothing to achieve. And uh, it's a good way to think of it, right? We all have our own nation of song we want to build. Thanks, Mariana. All right, next up is Jesse, Sunshine Gator. Another Gator! Could you please write, you're strong now. Just like you were always meant to be. Love, Silco. Yes, I can. Thanks, Jesse. Mother Monstrous, Liv. Hello, Liv. Thank you for portraying the character that brings me so much joy. Could you please sign the front of Silco and write something sweet on the back? Of course. Thank you. No. Thank you. And I wrote this on the back to you. Personal. Private. All right, next up. At Aldora on the Twitter, Adrian. Hello, Jason. Hello, Adrian. It was great meeting you at MegaCon in March. Yes, I was going to say, I remember you. I signed your flag. That was wonderful, and I loved that moment and it helped me be more confident in myself. I'm glad. Would you be able to write a short encouraging note to help me? Of course. Of course. Be my pleasure. I think I wrote that on the back already, actually.
Oh yes, I'm going to share this with everybody because I think I think it's applicable, and everyone might find it comforting and encouraging. If every day was easy, life wouldn't be worth living. It is in the challenges where we find our true self, so we will never be afraid again. Thanks, Adrian. All right, next to Nadia, Nadia Yellow 93. Hi, Jason, hope you are well. I hope you are well too, Nadia. Going for your third print in the series. Nice. Oh, you want me to write? Okay, this is cool. You're never fully dressed without a smile. There we go. Hey, hobo man, hey, dapper dan, we both got our style, but brother, you're never fully dressed without a smile. Okay, next up is, oh, by the way, thank you for that. Dejerum. Oh, Deidre. Hey, Deidre. Uh, right? Fear haunts us all, child. Expo Silver. Fear haunts us all, child. Thanks, dear. And you and your hubbin. I hope you were doing well too. Next up is Nate. Uh, oh, hi, Nate. Yes, Nate also ordered a cameo from me. Uh, please write. Don't cry. You're perfect. From soup. There you go, Nate. Thanks. Next up, Caitlin Sue. On the front, could you, just the normal Caitlin from Silco and my signature. And on the back, could you please write a kind and uplifting message? Oh, of course. I live to do that for people. If I have the time, which I do. Oh yeah, and since I always have to write the numbers on the back for Streamly anyway, like at the top of the print, I always have a number. Uh, I think I will share this one with folks. We are so lucky to be alive each and every day. When the sun rises, it's another chance to make the world a better place for those we love. You can do anything you put your mind to. Jason. Thanks, Kate. All right. To Josephine. Margie, Mari Josie, five, six, nine, two on the socials. Could you write a quote of your choice? I sure can. That's right. Josephine, it's time to let the monster out. Next is Caitlin Sue. Could you please write? I'm about to make your day. Oh, and you would like, not to give you any more work to do, but a good idea for one of your next signings might be a Lux signing from Star Wars Clone Wars, where I played Lux Ponteri. I would absolutely love to have a picture of him and Ahsoka signed. Thank you. Of course. Well, I did do a Galaxy Con signing as Lux uh, earlier this year. And 
I will, there will be a Comic Con, or several, I hope, in America that I will be headed to. Um, there's just, you know, negotiations and things going on about that. So, and I always have some Lux prints with me uh, because I know how much people like that. So, uh, and I think you can purchase cards. I, th I have signed a bunch of uh, Tops uh, Star Wars collector's cards with my signature on them too. So, you know, in the short term, uh, you could also find one of those out there, I'll bet. I'm about to make you a day. Let me see. Thanks for the heads up, Caitlin, and the advice. All right. Next up is Jack. Hello, I don't have any special requests and I would like to say that I love Silco and how you brought him to life. Well, thank you, Jack. I appreciate that. Thanks for your kind words. All right, next up is Andrew. Nothing on the socials. Doodle on the back. Nothing specific. Also, don't say this part out loud. <laughs> I stopped. There's more to that. Okay. I will keep that part quiet. It's all quiet on the Western Front. Nobody needs to know who that's to. And you guys can keep it to yourselves. I like that. That's very kind of you. All right. To Jack, could I have a recipe? I have a rough time cooking, and that'll... I have a rough time sometimes, but having a rough time. And cooking always helps. You know, it does help me too. Cooking, especially for yourself or for some friends, if you just have one person come over, it's such a giving thing that you can do to yourself to take care of yourself, to cook for you to you know, nourish yourself. And uh, I, I think I remember, yes, I wrote my salmon recipe on the back. It's a uh, pan seared salmon with a delicious garlic uh, sauce. It's certain garlic, soy, uh, ketchup, mustard, Worcestershire sauce in a, a good balance. It's also really good with french fries and I serve it on lettuce. Um, Okay, so the, this, there's no way this is tough chicken scratch, but if you just go slow, it, it, it will make sense. Basically, you mix, you, you put your oil of your choice, you know, um, in a skillet, eight tablespoons, you know, a goodly amount, because you're going to pan sear this salmon, make sure the salmon's all thawed. And while you're searing the salmon, you're flipping both sides just like every minute or two because you don't want it to get too black. You just want it to be crispy on the outside. You're taking some minced garlic and you're putting it in a saucepan and letting it simmer, simmer, simmer. And then you're throwing in a quarter cup of soy sauce, two tablespoons of ketchup, one tablespoon of mustard, and two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. And letting that uh, mix for, you know, three, five minutes. And then uh, once the salmon is seared, you put that on a bed of lettuce, your choice, iceberg, you know, I, I like because it's crispy. And then you drizzle the sauce over the top of the salmon. It's quite delicious. Good luck, Jack. Cook for yourself. It's good stuff. All right, next is Silco Shimmer on Twitter. Ash, if you could write, it's okay. You'll make it through this. Sure will. It's okay. You will make it through this. Love. So good. Thanks, Ash. To BK. May God defend me from my friends. I can defend myself from my enemies. I love it. 
hilarious. Exactly. Just like, you know, when Vander stabs or tries to drown Silco in the lake. Sometimes we need the defense from our friends. Next is Scudworth, aka Trey. Sign it with your favorite circle line, please. I will never forsake you. Thanks, Trey. Ash, coming in for another one. Ash Wee's cosplay on the socials. Can you write? Oh, I love this line. Yeah, yeah, I said this before, actually, earlier. Oh, don't look so concerned. I'm about to make your day. Thank you, and I love your portrayal of Soko so much, and I love how generous you are with your time with your fans. I can't wait to see your finished cosplay. Oh, yeah, me neither. So, take a moment here for cosplay news. Hold on, I'm gonna write this out. Um, uh, Corey, the cosplay artist who's building uh, my Soko cosplay, you know, suffered from COVID a bit and then got bogged down with work and some things. Um, but it is very, very, very close. So I am I'm hoping a few weeks away. I have some traveling I have to do, but when I come back, I will, uh, I think I'll be able to send, some, send out some pictures, which is great. It looks amazing. Like it's so, all of the color differences and everything that Silco has in his patchwork outfit. You can just tell how gifted the designers at Fortiche were because when this thing is now in reality, it's a real thing. Wow, is it cool. So exciting. Livy, you always seem so genuine when you comfort people and if it's possible, could you please write something that can make me smile no matter what? Oh, well, I love you so much, too. Thank you for being just being you. It encourages me to be myself. And that's the best advice that I can give anyone, is we spend so much time trying to please others, trying to be what our parents wanted, trying to be what our friends wanted and everything, and we just learn to condition ourselves. And there's just some small element of shame in who we are as a person to start off into something. When you can strip that away and just be who you are, not, you know, awful and nasty towards people because I don't think most of us are. I think that's when we carry around like our, our, our luggage with us, you know. But most of our authentic self is accepting and encouraging and quirky. You know, we're human, so we're all unique. And that is truly beautiful. All right. Livy, you can choose to be happy. The rest is out of your control. One simple choice, just smile. Have compassion for others, especially if they cause suffering. Because anybody who causes suffering, either willfully or unintentionally, is probably suffering themselves. All right, next up, Boogie Pop, a.k.a. Bella. Could you please write down your favorite Soko, that was loud, favorite Soko quote. Bella, I will never forsake you. Love, Soko. Love that portrait. So cool. Next up is Alice, trucking right along at Monodrama MP3 on the social. So glad we have the chance to have such a beautiful fan art signed by you. I know, me too, right? This is, uh, you ordered Shark Cat. It's ridiculously, gloriously detailed and beautiful and has an atmosphere about it. If you could write. Oh, this is also a very good quote. Sometimes I forget about this one. It's a little cruel, I'll admit. The base violence necessary for change. Mm. Mm. 
on the bridge with Vander. Thanks, Alvin. Okay, I think I need to keep moving along. Next up is Paris. Don't cry, you little perfect or something encouraging, of course. There is only one you in the whole universe. Don't cry. You're perfect. Just as you are. Thanks, Paris. Next, Cheney. I've had to put a dream on hold to take a job I don't want to support my family. I feel you. Could you write a sassy but encouraging message from some girl on the front and something from me on the back? Of course, nothing romantic though. I am a Savika escape. Oh, I love it. You're a Savika simper. Awesome. Okay, uh, Jeannie. We bide our time and wait. And then we pounce. Always be planning, always looking for the way to move, transition toward the thing that you want to do. It will never leave your mind. You will get there eventually. And I wrote you a beautiful message on the back. Yes, I remember that one. I know what it's like to have a dream put on hold. You are fierce. Never give up. Remember, it's only temporary. All right. Thanks, Jeannie. Next is Corby. Uh, cream and sugar on the uh, socials. Could you please say the Michael Scott from the office line as Silco? I am Beyonce always. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. Yes, I said it out loud there. It's on the internet. Next is Cree. Jason, if you can, could you please say this Silco quote? Thank you so much. You're amazing. Oh, if you utter so much as a syllable, I'll hunt you down and gut you like a fish. If you'd like to fax me, press the star key. Cree wants me to do everyone on the internet's voicemail, voice message. All right here, I'll pause this music because you can get a clean audio. All right, here we go. You can use this on your phones and such. If you utter so much as one syllable, I will hunt you down and gut you like a fish. If you'd like to fax me, press the star key. <laughs> I love it. There you go. <laughs> Thanks, Cree. I love it. All right. This is to no one in particular. Hello, sir, would you mind adding a motivational message on the back for a struggling artist? Yes, I will. You know who you are. Art is like being in love. Don't overthink it. When you do your art, you are making love with your imagination and all of us, allowing all of us to feel your passion. You can do it. All right, here we go. Jay is my name. Jay, please sign with your favorite line or quote from Silco. Okay. Well, you know, my favorite keeps changing. Um, and I've said this other one a few times. So I'm going to change it to there's a monster inside all of us. There you go, Jack. It's got that kind of look in that picture. Well, Silco always has that kind of look. Next is to Leland and Elian. You are my daughter. I will never forsake you. To Leland and Elian. Thanks, Leila and Elia. Goth clown on the socials. Mystic Anna. Hi, Jason. Hope you're having a good day. I hope you're having a good day too, Anna. 
Just write down whatever feels like the pic fits the picture. Oh, okay, sure. <laughs> I think I know what to write for this. Just kidding. Accidents happen. <laughs> He's on the stairs. Okay, next up, Reese Wolf. Going through a rough time. Oh, yeah. I hear you about the whole thoughts inside your head thing, and I obviously wrote a motivational message on the back there, because just held it up. If you'd like, could you please sign it and give a quote to, yes, Reese. Don't cry. You're perfect. Here. Remember that your thoughts are not you, they're just your thoughts. Focus on your gadgetry. You can do anything you put your mind to, and I believe in you. You are a child of Zon, and you are loved no matter what. From Zoko. Next up is Erica. Thanks for all the amazing art and the good vibes you put out in the universe. Vibing. I've busted my knee. Oh no! It's gonna take ages to heal. Well, and write something about patience and getting stronger. Absolutely. Erica, as your body heals, be patient. Take this time to discover more of your true self. You got this. I'm sure it's painful, but every day do a little bit and you'll get a little bit better every day. Eat healthy so there's cells in your body can regenerate. Food is the only source we have to make new cells. So make sure you eat well too. All right. Feel better, Erica. Dorian. Doreen? Doreen. Nothing specific, but you can't be so good with a heart. Thanks, Dory. You know who you are out there. All right, moving along, Silas. I played Silas on Vampire Diaries, at least the voice of Silas. Uh, hello, hope you had a nice day. Could you write Soko's quote? Power, real power, doesn't come to those who were born the strongest or fastest or smartest. No, it comes to those who will do anything to achieve. And I, I pre-wrote it because it's such a long quote. But actually, here I am. I would like to sign them live, though. It's quite wordy, but there you go. Yes, I did play the voice of Silas on Vampire Diaries. You know, when she learned I didn't love her, I she used her magic to ensure no other woman would ever love me. It should come as no surprise that now. I simply want to die. So if you watch Vampire Diaries, that was me. Cassandra! Right. Have you had enough? Thanks, Cassandra. From the opening monologue of Episode three. Next, hi, it's Mia on the social. Just a signature, please. Done. Thanks, Mia. Next, Becca. Oh boy. No, no pancreas princess. You don't have a pancreas. Wow. No offense. What you meant by that? Uh, please write. Don't cry. You're perfect. What's that? All right. Let's see. How many do we have left? Uh, not too many. I think I'll just keep going. Because you all have things to do today. And I want to make sure you can enjoy your Sunday with family, friends, whoever, whatever you need to be or do. Or just breathe. Next is Beetleburn Draws, aka Grace. 
you're strong now, just like you were meant to be. Thanks, Grace. You and Sogo have been my inspiration for art ever since. Oh, thank you very much. That's very kind of you, Grace. Next up is Allison. Toasty, hello again, Toasty. Please write something Soko would say after hours of trying to maintain the same pose for this portrait. Oh, that's funny, okay. All right. Here we go. My legs are cramping. Help me, Jinx. All right, next is Ari. Ari Eve on the socials, if possible, could you please write? Don't cry. You're perfect. You are perfect, Ari. Just as you are. Thank you. All right, next, Julie. Ninjuli. Surprise me. Okay. Let's do. From the dead. Thanks, Julie. Okay. Oh, Julie. Oh, you got two, Julie. Thank you very much. Eliza Bowley will appreciate that also because you got an eye of Zom. As your second print, could you please write the daughter quote? Sure. Is there anything so undoing as a daughter? And an eye of zong. Okay. I think I got it. Thanks, Julie. Moving right along to Evelyn. Could you please write, don't cry, you're perfect. I've been obsessed with your performance, so I'm geeking out buying this. Obsessed! Nothing wrong with a little Soko. Can't take your mind off that crazy sociopath who ends up loving his daughter above all else. What a great story. It's good storytelling and great animation. Nothing wrong with enjoying that. Don't cry. You're perfect. Thanks, Evelyn. Justin Miller. Big fan, Jason. Thank you. Uh, please write down what you think Soko would say if Jinx could talk. Oh, if he could talk to Jinx one last time. Okay, that kind of makes me cry. Uh, if Soko could see Jinx one last time, I think he would say... It wasn't your fault. Never look back. Actually, very sad. Thanks, Justin. Thanks a lot. Now I'm not crying, you're crying, you're all crying. <clears throat> I think it would be important to Soko that Jinx not regret her actions. You know, don't spend any time in the marketplace of regret. Um, accept the situation, it was what it was, and he would forgive her. Especially since he launched a missile at Piltover. Okay, Mad, Mad, Mad Animated, Maddie. Oh, hi, hi Maddie. Please write, don't cry. front and some life advice on the back. Also, you did great in the show. I look forward to your future projects and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you. I look forward to getting work sometime soon. <laughs> getting up, we've done a few things since. They're all top secret. Life advice on the back. Pre-written. Okay, 
Next up is to no one, but it is. Hello, it would really make my day if you could please add this special note for me. My dear little petal, or petal. I think petal. Don't cry. You're perfect. I will always be by your side. So Sweet. Actually very reassuring. Especially considering this portrait. Thanks. Gabriella, Gabby, 0905 on the socials. Could you please write? Oh, I pre-wrote this one because it's a long quote. Betraya, that pain that you feel could eat you up from the inside out. Can either break you or forge you into something greater? It's a lot of words. But a good sign just now. Thanks, Gabrielle. I also love that scene in the lake. Hoping Jinx try to move on from Vi's betrayal. You know? Next up is Jacob. Would be cool if you could write. It's only us. You're my daughter. I will never forsake you. Okay. Now I'm back. Could you write the what it's like to drown my mom? Uh, yes. <laughs> Do you ever wonder what it's like to drown? There's peace. It's the story of opposites. There's peace in water. Like it's holding you. I'll save that for the end. All right, let's keep going here. We're very close to done. Only a tiny bit left here. Nothing special, maybe like 20. Just wanted to say thank you for all your fantastic work. Much love from the UK. Well, thank you. You know who you are. Next up is Laura. Bandit's birth, bandit birthday, bandit's birthday, 88. To Laura from Suka. Thanks, Laura. Next is Chaney, 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 think Chaney. Please write something motivational, something I have important. Sometimes I, something important. And I'm nervous. When I'm nervous, I can read it and feel encouraged. Obviously, I can't read English right now. No big deal. It's not like it's part of the job. Okay. Cheney. You've climbed all of the mountains up to now. This one is no different. You've climbed all of the mountains before now, because here you are, and this one is no different. You can do it. Next, Daniel Hasseling, aka Pixie Mask, on the socials. I couldn't think of anything specific. Please write something nice. Also, I love that you ended up in my favorite anime, Tiger and Bunny, twice. Yes, I did, as the, that rollerblading uh, Dude in the why, season one, I think. Uh, and then as Mugan from the Mugan and Hugan twins, the evil uh, villains of season, the latest season, I think. I can't remember what season number that is. I think it's three. Um, yeah. It's good times. So this is a quote from Soko. Were you tempted? I don't think I've written that on anybody else's. Might be unique in the universe, just like you. All right, Spitfire Energy. Aliyah, Aliyah, can you please write? Don't cry, you're perfect. I sure can. Don't cry, you're perfect. Love silk. I think it's Aliyah. 
It's a beautiful way to spell it, by the way. Double I, or double A. Very cool. Thanks, Aaliyah. Next up is Abby. Can you doodle a rat on it? Of course, in the corner. Ratimus Maximus. And my do cry. You're perfect. Put that little guy in the corner. Very nice. Thanks, Abby. Next up is Crow. Like mountains on the socials. As you're signing this, I'll be completing a horse show. Oh, sweet. Thanks for inspiring me to chase my dreams and ride all the way to them. If you can, please write a less popular quote if you can think of one. Uh, yeah, this is less popular. How about, what is truth but a survivor's story? Good luck. Hope you take the blue ribbon. All right. Hazardous hound on the socials, Tatiana. Uh, hi. I just wanted to say you're absolutely amazing and I love your work so much. Thank you. Could you write? Write the first part as well. I never would have given you to them what anything. Don't cry. You are perfect. And write something encouraging on the back. Absolutely. Whatever the day brings, you have what you need right there inside you. Thanks, Tatiana. Next up is Ari, AKA the Bone Baby. Thank you, thank you to you and the artist for inspiring me with my art again. That's what this is all about. So you can be inspired by others and you know, that helps you get motivated. Can you please, Write an endearing happy birthday message, of course, and something uplifting to stay motivated. Sure. I think I did. Oh, yes, I did pre-write this. Two. Ari, happy birthday. There is only one you. So your contribution in art is unique in all the world. So never give up. Now that's what some people say, like, what do I have to offer? You know, the question, what do I have to offer? Well. There's only one you, you know, there's, there's nobody with your entire experience, your life, your everything that has happened to you is unique in your experience. And some people may have had similar experiences, which is why when you tell your story, they're inspired because of what you shared and they map that onto their own experiences. So when people ask like, what, what, what do I have? What could I possibly contribute? A lot. The answer is because you are unique. You can do it, Ari. Next up is to my dearest Michaela. Could you write forever yours, love circle, and draw a heart? Of course. My dearest. Forever yours, love circle, and draw a heart. There you go. Thanks, Michaela. All right, I mean, on the front, could you draw an eye of Zon and write, there's a monster inside all of us. I don't know. 
shoes on him. Good. And on the back, could you write something encouraging? Well, wait. Something that he would say to a friend. Yes. I trust you with my darkest secrets. I will never betray you, and I expect the same. You have more power than you know. Believe in yourself and stop at nothing. You can see Silco saying that. I mean, if he had true, truly a friend, someone who's truly his friend. Uh, Love May's Court on the socials, Amber, Ember and Ash. Hello. Thank you so much for all of the love that you project into the world. Just, that's, how else are you going to go through life, man? What misery? I choose not to. You are such a comfort to us both. Can you please write? We will show We will show them. Thanks, Ember and Ash. And thank you for your kind words. All right, make it out from nobody to nobody super easy. Thank you, whoever you are. Next up to Taylor Montano, Renegade Anarchist. Hi, I got your tattoo that says, just like you were always meant to be. Could you do your favorite line from that water scene? Sure. Um, you didn't say to put it on here, so just do it out loud. Um, yeah, I really do like that day I let a weak man die and another was reborn. The idea that we can remake ourselves, right? That we're not subject to the past. We're not beholden you know, by our trauma. We're not trapped or imprisoned by that because we have our own imagination and we have our own will in this world and you know we can make ourselves again should we choose to thanks taylor next old mind hey this is my second poster i bought awesome and i'm sure that shark cat appreciates that royalty as well uh can you draw the eye of zon on the front and some nice words for a rightist and an otter and right artist and writer on the back if you can, please do Pim's voice. That would make my day. Okay, 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 okay. Hold on. Hi, I'm Pim. <laughs> All right, and I wrote you a motivational message on the back. As a writer and artist, you have the most important job in the world to allow others to imagine and to touch them emotionally. You can break down walls and lift up the downtrodden. So never give up that mantle. It's a noble profession. Next, Kayla. If you have time, could you please write your favorite circle line? Yes. I will never forsake you. You know, one of the reasons why that's my favorite line, thank you, Kayla, is because there's so many people who think Silco would have given up Jinx. And I'm like, no, no, there's no way he would have given up Jinx, not for anything. He literally says that. But I mean, he says before that scene, it's just us now, I'm, you're my daughter, I will never forsake you. You know, I mean, the writers wanted you to be sure that he wouldn't, that you knew he wouldn't. But yeah, there's a lot of people who are like, I don't know about that, that shifty silka. All right, Alma. Hi, Jason. Thank you for giving a voice to this great character. It's my pleasure. Could you please write? Don't cry. You're perfect. This almost sounds like Minecraft music. All right. There you go. Have a great day. And it says, have a great day, and I tell you. Alma, have a great day. All right, next up, Alma. Got a second one. Thank you. Could you write on the front something that cute that Soko would say about my name? It means soul in Spanish. And on the back, please write the monologue of the story about the opposites. Okay, yeah, yeah, from the drowning scene. Uh, sure. Soko would say, 
You have a good soul. Use it wisely. All right. And on the back, I wrote a bunch of that monologue. Next, Kaylee, could you please write something flirty, Isoko? Well, we keep it safe for work here, so let's do. You make me wish I had two good eyes. I always like that. There you go. Thanks, Kaylee. All right, coming to the end. We only got just a few now. Jasmine, clear Ellis fire on the socials. I just want to thank you for your commitment to the fans. Of course, Mwah, my fans are amazing. You're one of the reasons the fandom is filled with amazing people. Well, I think also the writing uh, on arcane and complex stories and allowing people to just be seen for who they are. But thanks, I'll take some credit, I guess. Please write something Soko would say to Jinx. If she invited him to a tea party, uh, of course I'll be there in my finest attire. It's so cute, the idea that he would join a tea party and he'd make sure to dress up. Next up is Julie, Nin Julie. Again, Nin Julie. Ah, thank you. Nice of you. Could you surprise me with something? Yes, let's do an eye of Zong and something special in the back that I pre-wrote for you. And it's a surprise like you asked for. Mission accomplished. Sky to Sky. My perfect little one. I can imagine Soko would call Jinx that when she was young. My perfect little one. Thanks, Sky. All right, coming up on the end. We've got another one to Ninjuli. All right. You are going overboard, and I appreciate it. Surprise me. You bought a Claim the Skies, which is a beautiful piece of art. I love this Claim the Skies artwork. But here, he says surprise me. So I'm not, I'm not going to say it out loud, but I'll, I'll let you figure out what that says. It's funny, I think. Okay, next to Solomia. Dear Jason, Looking at the picture by Niku every day made me realize how much Soko's acceptance towards Jinx, what it, how much it means to you. Me, uh, you, he has become a comfort character. I wish you could say something similar to me as well. Okay, he will. Solomia, you have value just as you are. You're perfect. Absolutely. Thanks, Solomon. Next is Alina. Ariel Alina on the socials. Add a smile. Of course. There we go. Now there is only, I believe, just two, three left. These are new. These came in while I was signing. I left the store open. So next we're doing a... Kimberly, thank you for creating such a memorable character. I really appreciate it. You are welcome. Kimberly. Thank you. This is, I gotta write the numbers on the back because these are new ones. All right. 
Good. Good. Next is Sarah Miel. Miel? Miel. MSM Magic Main on the socials. Please write something like you've um overcome too much in your health and career to give up. You're stronger than you believe. Never lose that fighting spirit. Okay. Let's do it. And you want Sukiorio. So now there is only one, two, three, four left. And they're all new, so I'm gonna write them live. Uh, all of them, if there's something big. Let's do it. Sarah. Yeah. Overcome too much. and career to give up. And remember, you know, my big thing is that we don't give up. We don't. You're stronger than you believe. Never lose your spirit. Soka and me. Whew. That was quite the text. Did well though. Number 105. Okay. Next. Oh, Deidre. Hello again. If you could write a poem, a quote of your choosing. I love this print and art is so much. It's beautiful. I couldn't think of anything this late to do it justice. Okay, let's do it this way. Deidre. Okay, so I wrote, because the picture has the light shining from Silco on the side, right? That Jinx is running and there's this light that she's running into. By this light, I follow you in your heart for all your days in my way. Extemporaneous. All right, next to last one, I'm gonna actually close the store just so that I can make sure that we finish up. Okay, next is Sam. Bought a beautiful Claim the Skies. Dog Antlers on Twitter. Sam says, I'm so psyched that I'm buying another one. I know, I saw you go by in the signing already, Sam. So cool is my legitimate favorite ever. The fact that you're doing this is so cool, of course. That's right. We will show them all. And tell us your personal Soko headcanons. <laughs> all right, Sam. Okay. Silco head cannons. You know, it's funny because I I tend not to make up a lot about my characters that isn't on the page. Because it could lead you in a direction that the writers and the storytellers didn't want the character to go. So I often ask questions of the writers uh, and those telling the story because their answers can inform my performance. You know, and I think one of the big things people aren't sure about, you know, is Silco and Vander's relationship. Um, 
you know, prior to the whole thing starting. And they were brothers as far as like in my head canon goes. Because in Zon, you don't grow up, you know, normal families are broken and things are awful and, you know, hell here in America too, right? Um, and to find someone that you could trust is so hard. And that's why Vander's betrayal hurt so much. Even though he was doing it to try to preserve peace and save lives. It's just broke Silco so much because here was his brother. You know, they ran around Zahn and, you know, played games in the alleys together ever since they were boys. So yeah, that's, I have some headcanon in the mouth too now. Next up, Dakota bought a Sikiorio. Thanks, Dakota. All right, and the last one of this signing, as the music fades, is Elias. Could you please write, don't cry, you're perfect. Going through a tough time in my life and doubting a lot of things and write something motivating and encouraging on the back. I will. Elias. Don't cry. You won't. Perfect. Okay. So, you know, doubt, like, you know, doubting that you're able to do a thing or doubting that you have, um, you can count on your friends or doubting people around you or doubting your future, right? Doubt is a natural thing. You cannot be certain of the future. And things change. The nature of the universe is change. Stars explode, you know, uh, plants grow then they die, then we have a different weather every day. So if you think about it, doubt is a natural reaction to how unsure we are about what's happening to us day by day. And the universe is full of change. So my advice to you is, and I'll write it down after I'm done, is to accept things as they are and not wish that they were any other way because they can't be. And instead, embrace change and know that it is the natural state of the universe. And you never can predict the future. And sometimes that's a gift. Sometimes if we simply close our eyes and accept that the next breath that's coming is just a gift and that all the rest of the time that we have is a gift, then we let go of doubt and instead make something of this moment. Instead of dreading the future, we welcome the present. You've got this. It'll be okay, Elias. All right. I'll write that on the back and uh, thank you all for your time. Have a great Sunday. Peace, love, and